Good morning. I'm glad you were able to join us this morning. My name is Twyla Thurston and I work for the Texas Animal Health Commission. I have worked as a lab technician for the state federal laboratory section for 23 years. The TAHC's mission and role is the assurance of markability and mobility of Texas livestock. All cattle that are sold in the state of Texas are supposed to be tested for brucellosis. Brucellosis is a bacterial disease, sometimes called bank disease. The majority of our job is testing cattle for brucellosis. There are four state federal labs in Texas and they are located in Fort Worth, Austin, Lubbock, and Palestine. Today I will briefly explain our daily processing for testing for brucellosis. Every morning we go to the post office to retrieve our blood samples. Samples are centrifuged and pipetted. Finally, results are reported to the data entry station for the area offices, offices and submitting veterinarians. Every morning, a lab technician goes to the post office to pick up the blood. These are how they come, sometimes in coolers, sometimes in a box of 200, and sometimes just in a small box of 40. At this point, we unbox and resupply the veterinarian with clean tubes. We evaluate what test is needed. We organize by species and we label each group with owner's name, first and last tube, and that way there are no mix-ups as it moves through testing for the day. We write up a worksheet so the paperwork can go to the data entry station. The samples are moved to the centrifuge station. These are our centrifuges. The samples are double checked by that person centrifuging for two number accuracy. These are the centrifuge racks. They're placed in these racks and placed in the centrifuge. The centrifuge basically separates the red blood cells from the serum. That is what we test. They have the capability of spinning up to 100 samples. Once the centrifuge stops, the samples are removed and re-wrapped for pipetting. This is a PCFIA wrap. This is our pipette. PCFIA stands for Particle Conjugant Fluorescent Amino Assay. Once the samples are pipetted into the PCFIA plate, it is placed into the PCFIA machine. Once the machine is started, there is a, a layout entered in the computer and it corresponds with each tube in the rack. After the testing is completed, results are printed out as positive or invalid. So this is a process of elimination. Everything else is negative. Once the results are, are reported, they are taken to the data entry station. Often a private veterinarian needs phone confirmation or a fax copy for immediate movement of the cattle. If it does have a positive, they are rerun and double checked for human error or a machine problem. If they remain, these samples are sent to Austin for supplemental testing. At that point, a state veterinarian uses all of this information, all the tests we've done, and the case history of the animal to determine the outcome. Sometimes the animal is sent to slaughter, and sometimes they are held and tested again in 30 days. Today I have briefly examined our daily processes for testing for brucellosis. In summary, every morning we go to the post office to retrieve our blood samples. We organize, evaluate, and label each group accordingly. We write up a worksheet, we centrifuge, and pipette for PCFIA. Results are reported to the submitting veterinarians and the TAHC area offices. I thank you for coming this morning and I hope you have a better understanding of our daily processing for testing for brucellosis.